How's it going everyone? So today we are out doing some kayaking and bass fishing. We're gonna try and catch a few bass. Um, I used to fish this lake, small lake, when I was a kid. Caught a lot of nice bass out of here, but figured we'd get the kayaks out. We uh, had a kid-free afternoon and evening, so hopefully we catch some bass and then go home and make some fish tacos tonight. So. Yeah. Sounds yummy, and it's going to be a good day to get some rays. It was supposed to rain, and I think it'll hold out on us, knock on some wood. Yeah, no, it was dumping earlier. It was a complete mm -hmm. downpour and uh, flash flood warnings for the areas. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, hopefully we catch some bass and try and get some on film and make some fish tacos. Maybe we'll have Kels make a video and throw on her channel. Uh, I'm making you cook tonight. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, maybe we'll still throw it on her yeah. channel, but go over and give Kelsey's uh, channel uh, a look. And uh, it's called uh, Cooking Wild with Kels. With a K. A yeah. C instead of a C. So. <laughs> yeah. K uh, yeah, with a K. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to try and catch some bass. Uh, I've caught a lot of bass when I was younger. I haven't bass fished in quite a while. I don't know. Have you caught any? Just Besides small ways, mouth, but no, yeah, I've never caught a large mouth. Let me spe specify: we're going after largemouth bass right now. Uh, we went two nights ago, caught some walleye, okay. caught some small mouth, some rainbow down at the river, the Columbia River. But we're gonna give some largemouth bass fishing a try. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and hopefully we can get some action. Yeah. So. Yeah, it turned out to be a beautiful afternoon. That's for sure. Hopefully it stays nice and sunny. <clears throat> so all you professional bass fishermen, don't be <laughs> beating up on us, telling us we're doing stuff wrong. When uh, I was a kid and we used to go on and hook that side, honey. Yep. And we would come here. Uh, I grew up trout fishing in the cre creeks and stuff. So we always had our trout gear. And the biggest bass I ever caught out of here was on a Panther Martin. Um, it was a pretty good size. I don't know. Good size to me. I say big. Um, I think the largest I've caught was six to seven pounds. Um, I didn't have a scale, but it was a ballpark idea of how big it was. You know, set those over there. That way we can... Yeah, I just couldn't reach them. <laughs> the kayak. <laughs> Caught, I've only caught like walleye and trout and smallies. Cause that's all that's in like Lake Roosevelt, right? Yeah, Lake Roosevelt. No, that's the, the only other place Columbia that I River. We need to flip this one around. Actually, oh. you can get in backwards. Kelsey's gonna use a bigger kayak. Uh, I don't want to go swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a pondy lake, so it's like. Yeah. It's, it's a giant pond. There's yeah, lily exactly. pads, there's floating islands. Uh, so you don't really want to get out and <laughs> swim too much. I mean, you could, but I just, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not cold. very deep either. Uh -uh. So maybe we'll give a quick tour of the fishing gear we're going to be packing. I guess I would grab the poles to show them off too. Or at least yours. Mine's just a Walmart special. <laughs> This ain't no Yeti 110, but it is iced down with some silver bullets. <laughs> so, I'll grab the phone and we'll go over. The pole I'm using is a, I think it's a six foot, no, seven foot uh, Swate Brigade uh, bait caster. I'm not no uh, rod and reel geek or anything like that kelsey's just using uh, shakespeare with a spinning reel so <laughs> funny story we were out fishing banks lake and i cast it and the top of my pole came off <laughs> and the line snapped out at the same time so i lost top of my pole so i got a new pole david bought me one so anyway i'll grab the camera and we'll go over what we're gonna be using i don't think we'll bring the big tackle bag we'll just grab some of the bass gear that we're gonna be using bass aqua gear So I love this little Mustad tackle bag, uh, jig plastics bag, I guess you'd call it. I'm gonna 
Phone went dark. The sun was on it. But yeah, we got some frogs in there. Some rattle baits. I guess that's what you call them. I call them that anyway. Some spinner baits. Try some of those out. Am I allowed to use them since I lost like 10 the last time I used one? Yeah. We got some Cinco's in here. <clears throat> yeah, these Mustad tackle bags are nice. Or soft plastic bag. We've got extra line in there. Uh, stringers. We got our Cinco hooks. Twister tails variety i like to put them in ziploc bags inside of these because i have a lot of different colors and stuff like that i like to keep them separate because the chartreuse dyes every single plastic in there if you don't do that i've got some wedding rings or kokanee slayers or whatever you call them some minnows they work good down up the river we use a lot of minnows uh, those, I don't know if you guys can see them that good. Paddle tails work really good. A lot of tube jigs. I think it's the watermelon color we love the most because we're out of them. Right? Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of tube jigs. Uh, there we go. Cinco's. That's about it. We got crawdads in there. So hopefully we'll use some of those. Bring that. But we will leave the big tackle bag, I'm thinking. So yeah, we're going to get kayaks loaded up with our gear and get out on the water. Stay tuned. Okay, so first off, I'm going to try a frog. Kels is going to try a spinnerbait, white and silver. I think that is the Booyah or Kevin Van Dam. Um, these are Booyah frogs. So I'm going to give them a try, see how it goes. Like I said, I haven't fished this lake. Shoot. Probably in 16 years. I give it a squeal David and Gage there. Yep. Beautiful little lake. It's called Rebecca Lake. Um, we used to come here in high school and we had hounds. We'd turn our hound dogs loose and tree raccoons and stuff in here. Just for training pups pretty much. Getting them ready for running cougars and bears and stuff. We've treed bears all the way around this lake up in that canyon. But it's always a good little area. A lot I've of chased cows here. A lot of deer. Oh yeah, we've chased cows and horses and everything in here. But enough of that. Let's get out on the water and do some fishing. Got a phone. I'm trying to record with a phone. Slow down. Kels, everywhere we go, it's a race with her. To, if you guys know of any good uh, phone cases that are waterproof, uh, drop a comment and let us know. Because that would be great. It's you know, called uh, life cases there. Yeah. I've heard of life cases. Those are good. Um, we'd love to have a GoPro, but I don't have the $500 to spend on a GoPro right now. It would be nice. Uh, hopefully we can get one soon so we can do spear fishing. Um, we started getting into spear fishing last summer, I believe. And uh, the boys really enjoy it. I enjoy it. We've shot some small fish, but you know, it was just kind of a trial deal. We. Actually, my brother ordered, uh, it's not the Hawaiian sling, it's just a spear pole. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun diving down. I'd like to get some really nice uh, goggles and flippers and stuff like that and go spear some largemouth bass. Uh, there's another lake. A little ways from here about 45 minutes from here 
that has some big, big bass in it. Give you guys a view of the lake. We're out on the water. Sorry, don't have to look at my feet. <laughs> this kayak's a little small. I'm gonna get back here and try some fishing. So like I said, all you professional bass fishermen, don't be beating up on us, we're just having fun. Don't claim to be a professional bass fisherman. I am. <laughs> How about you? I am. That's another thing. People put titles on everything. It's like, I'm a professional airplane maker. It's like, dude, every kid in America has made an airplane, paper airplane, at one time. Uh, it's like when uh, all the yuppies started shed hunting and uh, professional shed hunter and they had all this garbage and uh, social media ruined shed hunting. I mean, you've never seen half the clowns out there you do nowadays and it's great and all to get kids involved and stuff like that, but to blow it up on social media and you get the asshats out there ruining it for the good honest public it's like man what the heck yeah when they add professional on everything like now you see people saying professional homeowner it's like look jackass you own a house good deal doesn't mean you're a professional anything. Anyway, that's just my rant. <laughs> Punk else. I'm a professional fisherwoman. Yeah, professional. Fisherwoman. Fisherwoman. All right, honey, let's see it. Oh, no. Remember, this lake isn't too deep. Got to reel them fast, honey. Thought you knew that being professional. I'm a, don't tell a professional how to be a professional. <laughs> don't tell a professional how to be a professional. Well, I'm going to bomb this frog over here. See how. I don't even know how to fish these frogs. I bought them to try them out. Bought them actually for this lake to come here and do some kayaking and stuff. And so yeah, I don't claim to be a professional or anything. Oh, get my phone wet. Anyway, I wanna try something else out and uh, we'll go from there. Well, we haven't had any luck yet. We've changed up quite a few times. They're just not out today. Is like yeah. Professional fish. No, they're just not out. Nope. Uh oh. Rain clouds might be there. <laughs> yeah, the rain clouds are starting to roll in on us. So we might call her quits early. Maybe go home and take out the walleye and some. Nonetheless, it was a great little kayaking trip with my gorgeous lady. I mean, 
I have no complaints. None whatsoever. Any day on the... I got one! <laughs> I got it! It's a monster! <laughs> I almost thought you did have what? one. You're pulling me in! Ah! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Careful now! <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs> oh, I scared the bejeebies out of me. I thought I was going over. No, just getting the kayaks out and coming out to try some fishing. Beautiful day. But we might get serious and go down to the river and slay some walleye and smallmouth. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We might have some walleye fishing on this video. I don't know. Right. We'll see. We'll see. We got to go load these up and probably go grab some better shoes. We're walking down through the rocks, huh? I think we'll be good. <laughs> we'll be good in these. I'm fine. We're going barefoot, if anything. All right. Well, stay tuned. We're going to the river.